Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to Chicago and the famed Aragon Ballroom for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of flyweight action. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. Fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Remember what we talked about. This is a 12 rounder. Here's round number one. Don't stay in one spot. Teddy, what role can the fans play on the fighters, the atmosphere of the arena, when they know there's two guys meeting up that can bang? An immature fighter, a less experienced fighter, can get caught up. He can try to satisfy the audience. That's a quick way to be going into the shower earlier than you wanted to. Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by Hurricane. There you go. Halfway through this round here. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Keeping him honest with the double jab up top. Get in there. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Seconds. He missed that uppercut. This round comes to an end. And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. That's needs it, to shorten him up. Hey, relax for me. Just like that, all right? Another round, just like that. He doesn't like right. those body shots. Believe me, he doesn't like that, kid. Keep working the body. You don't need that. Take some of that away. speed. Of Here we go. Round two is underway. Martinez has been hurt. Get out of there. Unload. Good way to protect the midsection. Just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Body shot. <laughs> Reaching the halfway tan. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Hurricane's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Blocking that punch. Very good defense by Hurricane. If 
final 10 seconds of round number two. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't, he's chomping at the bit. He's confident. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Left and right, left and right. <laughs> that was a miss by Hurricane. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Coming to the halfway point of this Keep third moving. round. Keep moving! Martinez has basically given you the impression that he's a little tentative to throw punches based on what happened earlier when he got hurt. Yeah, he's got to find a way now to not give up the offense that he had earlier. He wants to go into a defensive mode a little bit, but if he gives up that offense, he'll fall too far behind to get to that no man's land where he'll need a knockout to win, and he doesn't have that kind of power. He's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Hurricane's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Last 10 seconds of round number three. And round three comes to an end. We're taking a beating. Come on. Just keep working and this is your fight. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Just don't get lazy. You're winning this fight. You need to cover up more, okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Just cover up. Martinez is up around here after three rounds on Teddy's scorecard, but really nobody has distinguished themselves to any great amount so far. Move your head! Muevete la cabeza! About that left hand. Body shot! Body shot! Come on, get off it. Martinez is well off the mark that time. Relax, relax. Yeah. Halfway through round number four. right back with the left hand good biting snapping shot by Martinez 
Able to cover up that gut. Good job protecting himself. Let it go. Oh, and there he lands the right hand well. Put him away. What a big shot. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. One, two, three, four, five. Just what he needed. The bell to end that round. He was taking a lot of punishment there. Well, if he hit a bad driver, you know, he was a golfer. You say he has to have a short memory. Forget about it. There's another hole coming up. Well, you have to have a short memory right here as a fighter. The only thing is you better get some advice to go out there because you don't want to hit that fairway the same way. Nice to relax. This is what I need you to do. He truly needs you to his chest. His hands will drop. His follow. Hurricane's trying to clear his head now. He was knocked down in that last round, but I don't know if he's fully back, just sitting on that stool. You're doing great. Nice block by Martinez. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Keep going. <laughs> you got this one. Halfway through this round. Good accuracy with that uppercut. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. That's okay. Hey, A little head hunting with the right. Unload. Unload. Nowhere close that punch by Martinez. Martinez is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Hurricane's got to be moving more than this, Teddy. I mean, you cannot win a fight just standing stationary like this. Well, you know, if his opponent... Solid. Late goings here this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? All right, you got to bring your hands up. You must bring your hands up. All right now, come on, relax. Relax, shake it out, shake it out. You got to relax. You got to move out there, right? Move, move, move. Come on, breathe. breathe. He has a new round in front of him. But I don't know that there's any new hope. He's been down numerous times tonight, including that last round. You never know what a person's capable of when they're pushed to the brink. But this would be very unlikely. It would be spectacular. He missed with that headshot. There you go. 
Hurricanes feeling the sting of that big uppercut. Hey, hey, let's go. Halfway through round six. Through the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. Martinez is showing us a great display of one of the best elements of defense, Teddy, and that is your ability to make your man miss by moving your head. And now what his opponent has to do is he has to understand, hopefully he's been taught this, that yeah, the head moves, but the body doesn't. The body is stationary right in front of you. Right now his opponent should not be going to that head. He should be going downstairs. One, two, one, two. Ten clicks of the talk. That was not well targeted by Hurricane. This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. That's it. That's it. I need another round just like that, all right? You're doing good. So with the start of this round, we've reached the halfway point. Be interesting to see what we're in store for down the stretch of this fight. <laughs> Missed the body shot. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Gets rid of that body shot. his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Martinez has really got a way about him when it comes to his footwork, his movement. It's serving him very well defensively. Yes, it is. He's controlling range. He's controlling distance. He's keeping his opponent where he wants him. Took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Yep, yep. Ahora, do that again. Martinez is smashed by a hook. Martinez is tagged by a right hand. This looks like it could be just a matter of time now. Maybe a punch or two away from going down. Teddy, what's he got to do? Well, he's got to grab. He's got to find a way to stop the offense. And to clutch and grab, usually that's one way. And the round comes to an end. I need you to use your feet. Move around the ring. Got that? OK, let's go. Yeah, we'll get him. Let's go. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? Then let's get moving out there. Start of round eight, Teddy's scorecard. Well, slight lead here, but I'll say this. He may be up on your scorecards, but his opponent knows how to land a punch against him. Yeah, he's found the home for that right hand. He notices that he brings that left hand back slow, so the right hand beating him to the mark. Unload! Keep moving! Keep moving! Work the body, kid! Body shot!
Martinez is really making some boxing purists out there put a smile on their face because his defense has been stellar. I mean, so fundamentally sound. Yeah, well, that's why he always goes rounds, and that's why people think he has an iron chin. I don't know if he has an iron chin because the chin never gets touched. He's a guy that's always going rounds because his defense is so good. He just missed that shot up top. Keep working about it. Oh, hands up, hands up. And bang, and away he goes. How is this going to go on? Once again, he hits the deck. Well, he's getting practice at it. So he might figure it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And somehow, some way, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. Round comes to an end. Knockdown was scored in that round. So, Teddy, you're working the corner of the guy who was just on the floor. What are you telling him? You're telling him that if he's been down before, you want to actually use that for a possible. I know that sounds crazy, but you say, hey, you've been here before. You've overcome it. You want to remind him that he can get back. And then the most important thing, Joe, is you tell him why he got dropped. So when he goes out there, he's not just scared going into a dark place saying, gee, it's going to happen again. He knows he has control. Double up your punches. Keep the lead, all right? As we start a new round, Teddy, this seems basically hopeless for him. He's been knocked down numerous times tonight. Well, you never know. I mean, you go back to the 1980 Olympics, and of course, you have that great call. Do you believe in miracles? But only thing, nobody was punching that hockey team in the face. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Keep working the yap. Good. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Comes across with a hook up top. Hurricanes putting forth a game plan of being a volume puncher, but Teddy, He's not landing a lot of these punches, and what kind of effect can that have on this fight? Well, he can get frustrated a little bit, and hey, he might not win the fight. <laughs> he can have that kind of effect. Is that effective enough? Beat him to the punch! Halfway through the ninth round, unable to score with the hook. Dropping a little wood with that hook. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. Keep moving, gotta see those coming. <laughs> Hurricane's concern right now has to be the fact that this fight could be stopped if he's gonna take more and more punishment like he just did in that last round. Well, you're absolutely right, Joe, but I think his concern goes back a long time. The habits that he learned and didn't learn in the gym, because that's why he's getting caught with all these shots that have him in this position. How are you feeling out there? Now, you're not winning this fight, right? You're not winning. I mean, he's beating you. I need you to throw more than one punch out there. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Martinez is keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy Hurricanes hit by a right hand. Go get him! Up 
uppercut. Oh, he's hurt. He was hurt right there, but now he's grabbing on like it's a life preserver. And he's going to have to stay there if he's going to get through these rapids. And he just holds on there. Watch that. That's it. Big shot there. Knocked down again. Unreal. Now you got to wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they going to stop this? Martinez has gunned down yet another opponent, a knockout victory. So here we are, late in the fight, just coasting along, and then that happens. And that's exactly why it happened, because he was coasting along. Everybody was comfortable. Everybody thought nothing big's going to happen. We're going to wrap it up. And that's when something like this does happen. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.